Okay, I'm climbing uh, Mount Killington in Vermont. I'm probably two thirds of the way up the mountain and just thought I'd give you a little sense of the trail cutting through the conifer forest. It's been uh, in the forest the whole way up. When we get to the White Mountains, we'll have some trail above Timberline, but there aren't any of those really here in Vermont. But this is just to give you a sense. This is a little flatter, a little easier than some of it. Some of it requires some hand over hand work through rocks and a lot of work with poles and it's a little a little bit easier which is why I was able to film it a little bit but at least you get a sense of the forest and the climb that goes on through the forest to get up to the summit We've got a beautiful day a little on the warm side but since it is such a clear day, I assume we'll have some really good views when we get up to the summit. So I'll be back uh, probably when we get to the summit so you can share in some of those views. Most you know, Killington is the largest ski resort in the Northeast by largest I think they mean the most number of runs and chairlifts and capacity for snow skiing. So I don't know if we're gonna see any of the trails. I think we will see some of the, the lift gondola equipment at the top and it's supposed to be a restaurant snack bar at the top, which uh, it's apparently open in the summertime for nine to five and I've got a good chance to get there well before five and maybe get to have a cold drink. So anyway, here's the very typical of the forest and the climb here up Mount Killington. So I'll be back. This is uh, the other side of Killington. <clears throat> Obviously, we're starting to look west because it's bright, but uh, I think you'll enjoy the scene off to my right as we get away from the, the light. Somewhere over there, we, we would be able to, if the mountain weren't blocking, we'd be able to see Lake George. So. sunrise on the top of Mount Killington.
Okay. Welcome back to Vermont. It's uh, July 23. Happy birthday, Amy. Um, believe it or not, uh, I am almost out of Vermont. Um, doing a long hike today, about 22 miles. Um, been very nice hiking in Vermont. This is uh, been a very rainy day though. It's our first bad weather day. We've had tremendous views on Bromley and Stratton and um, Killington. Hopefully you've seen those, some of the videos. Um, and been very fortunate. Uh, had very, very rainy this morning. Everything was wet. I couldn't uh, use the phone and uh, we got a little reprieve. You can tell that it's kind of wet out and cloudy. Sun's been trying to break, but uh, really hasn't. Anyway, I just thought it's always good to remind ourselves that it's not always perfect out here. Um, I did get to Rutland, Rutland, Vermont, day before yesterday, and don't know if you can tell, but got my hair cut. It's getting a little shaggy, and when we climb these mountains, I sweat a lot, and the just nice it's cooler and easier to clean a little shorter so I was able to do that in Rutland just a couple of days ago but I've got one maybe depending on what we do tomorrow uh, one or two days left in Vermont and Vermont has just been one of the best states I've been in uh, the thing that I've said this before so I apologize I'm repeating myself too much but Vermont's had these really good trails, both the quality of the trail under feet and the quality of the grade whenever we're climbing. There's switchbacks and the trails work their way up the mountains in a way that uh, makes it uh, not easy, but uh, much more uh, doable than some of the very steep vertical climbs that we've had in some other mountains and some of the ones we're gonna have to deal with in New Hampshire and Maine but uh, for now the uh, the path and the trail has been so nice uh, and as I said coming out of New York going through Connecticut and Massachusetts the trails have generally been the same uh, good quality and it reminded me how much I enjoy hiking and why I do and what really I thought of the other day was uh, you can you can walk, you can hike. There's a rhythm to your your hiking, and you enjoy that. Uh, it feels like, and thinking back to a lot of Pennsylvania, the second half, a lot of New Jersey, and a lot of New York. There were so many rocks of different types and obstacles that um, you never really got into this rhythm of just walking and enjoying the walk and enjoying your surroundings. You were just always picking your way through and um, hesitating and taking unusual steps and side steps and half steps and long steps and all these different things to maneuver around and through rocks in your way and rocks you had to climb up over and around. So. Uh, Vermont uh, has been great, nearly flawless really in terms of the beauty and quality of the trails. Uh, my shout out thanks to Green Mountain Club. They're the club that takes care of a lot of the trails here and they're in great shape. Uh, when we go through rocky areas, they've often built these stone staircases and it's just uh, been a really pleasant hiking experience and uh, for those who have read about my banana pudding moment uh, having such great hiking and nice views and good weather has uh, really instored, restored uh, my enthusiasm for the hike and just in I think a couple days I'll be in the town of Hanover, New Hampshire where Dartmouth College is and from there we're going to start to the last two states um, and start sort of the entrance into the White Mountains, which is uh, for many, many people, 
the highlight of the trip and uh, I'm certainly looking forward to it. So I wanted to uh, just check in, wanted to uh, wish Amy a happy birthday today. I certainly miss her and Brooke and Cheryl and they've been great to support the hike and um, they just uh, all their support has made this uh, so much easier so I'll be back thanks for watching okay it's still uh, July 23 Amy's birthday and I've gotten to a place called the lookout it's a little cabin that's got a um, a porch on the roof and you can get a good view unfortunately of course we don't have a great day but uh, you can at least see what view there is here it's better than it was hours ago when there was no visibility at all so maybe these clouds are lifting for us Well, before we leave Vermont, we got a, a few more nice views. Very rainy day yesterday. Been mostly nice this morning, but we got more rain coming, they say, tomorrow and the next day. But I want to share this pretty nice view here.